Joining us now, former federal prosecutor, we love this guy, is Jim Trussie. Jim, it's great to have you back on. Okay, sources keep telling the evening edit more people will be charged by special counsel John Durham in his criminal probe of the botched Trump Russia investigation. It's unclear if it's going to be lo more lying to the FBI. Here's the debate conspiracy charges. You know the conspiracy is in the law. Collusion was, there's no law about collusion, it's about conspiracy. Two or more people knowingly defrauding the U.S. government, planting false information inside the FBI and DOJ to go after Trump. That's the debate, Jim. What do you think? Yeah, look, I think Durham's been chugging along. Obviously, these indictments necessarily make you look at the possibility of other people being indicted. They're speaking indictments. They talk about a lot of conduct outside of simply false statements. So I think we have to keep our eyes open and see if it passes the political test of getting through the attorney general. Remember, John Durham still has to answer to the boss of DOJ, and that's going to be a real integrity test when the VIPs are in harm's way, when there's either people high up from the FBI administration, uh, including all the way up to Comey, and also high up in the Hillary Rodham Clinton well, you know, campaign side. I mean, this thing could reach very high heights. Again, a politicized outcome when it was political to begin with. I mean, we have FBI officials saying they were outraged and former FBI officials outraged how politicized the FBI got. The FBI is going to act on probable cause, right? But there was enough politicization in this that outraged Americans across the board. Many people are saying throw the book at Hillary Clinton and her team. Charge them with racketeering. Charge them with conspiracy. Watch A.G. Barr on this with Martha McCallum of Fox News. Watch this. I do think that there will be people held accountable. Uh, and, you know, I think that there, you know, he will, uh, I hope uh, that there'll be more indictments. Uh, but also I think there will be a report and an accounting through a report. Criminal charges? Uh, I think there'll, you know, be cr possibly criminal charges. So he's saying possibly criminal charges. Your thoughts there? Well, look, I think he's being optimistic. And if he was still the attorney general, he might have great cause for that. Uh, I think he's right to basically have this outlook that John Durham just pursues evidence. And the evidence has been very damning and very strong from the outside so far. But we have to see how it plays out in court. I think there's a chance that he gets very high up in the Hillary, Hillary Rodham Clinton's campaign, maybe all the way up to her. I think FBI leadership that was very politicized has a lot to be fearful of, of John Durham. But again, big integrity test coming to see if Attorney General Garland will let this stuff go through. Will Understood. he try to negate where Durham goes? I mean, Robert Mueller didn't find this, right? Didn't find what Hillary Clinton's team was alleging. And John Durham says the computer expert Rodney Jaffe exploited the internet traffic traffic information at Trump Tower, former President Trump's Central Park West Apartment Building, the executive office at the White House of the President. The belief is he was working on a federal contract with DARPA to, for security to, you know, about that, and that it, that information was then given by Michael Sussman. We know the story to the FBI and that he misled about it. Um, so that's the allegation. He pleads innocence. Now DARPA is denying a reporter had a role in attributing the DNC hack of its computers in 2016 to Russia. This is a story that's out there in the Federalist about an email showing special counsel Durham's team was asking a Clinton com computer expert about this. That pro is working on the Trump-Russia collusion narrative. So DARPA, you and I have talked about this. Pentagon's DARPA, powerful agency, is still in this story, Jim. Yeah, it's in the story, but it's not necessarily complicit. I think the big issue right. that might play out in the Sussman trial in May is whether DARPA was actually a, a knowing participant or whether people with access to contracts and access to data were misusing it for political purposes. That's the way the Sussman indictment reads to me right now. But I guess we'll have to wait and see whether DARPA proper uh, is in harm's way as much as these academics were. Jim, you and I have talked about it. Take out the names Trump, take out the names Clinton, take out the name Obama, take all those names out. When you look at what happened, it's using the powers of their federal police officers to go after a political rival. There's, you have to throw the book at them. It can't just be processed crimes like lying to the FBI. Yeah, I mean, it feels very third world, right, to yeah. have the machinery of the FBI leadership willfully and willingly taking false information to intrude into the political process. I mean, that's my, my heart from the criminal justice years I've spent uh, on both sides of the aisle goes back to that issue of the FBI's complicity as a big point. Jim Trustee, great to have you back on. Come back again soon. Okay.